What's up, DJ Tech Tools crew? It's Chris Brackley in the lab today with the Crane Stand Elite. This is the new stand from Crane Hardware, follow on from the Crane Stand Pro and the Crane Stand Plus, both of which I've used extensively over the last couple of years. And this is their new top end stand. It's all aluminium, carbon fiber, all fancy engineering and so on. Laptop stands, obviously, they you know start off at sort of 20, 30 bucks for your basic kind of pressed steel um, Chinese generic kind of stand that you can get and I've still got a couple of those around they're great for home use and stuff but they're no good for carrying around with you next step up you've got a few cheaper ones there's one from monoprice and stuff like that um, the crane stand plus which is about $80 we'll get to that a bit later that is um, is out there and then we go up to the big money stuff the UDG one which I know a lot of the guys in the DJ tech tools office they like and then we've got now the crane elite so what is special about the crane elite well it's a total redesign in terms of the actual functionality and form factor and so on you've got height adjustment now on here so you can go from a very low position to a very high position um, completely flexible in that point of view so it will go a little bit higher than the old Pro and much much lower which for lots of, lots of setups will be better um, you've got these kind of uh, teeth basically on the adjustment itself so it's a one-handed adjustment you basically just turn one of the knobs loosen it right off and then you can adjust with the teeth there's numerous different it's not completely free moving like the Pro but it is got loads and loads of different steps to put it in exactly which angle you want and tighten it down and it's solid and it's ready to go um, the foot now rather than being this kind of narrow single foot that you had with the old pro you've got a much wider platform now so if you're going to put something like a controller or a mixer on top of that foot then that gives you a much more stable platform to work with so this 380 for example pop that on there and it's now way more solid both feet on the front are touching the front you know are touching the, the floor and it's way more solid than it was before and obviously that height adjustment will help you get it up and down above it um, it is strong enough to take something like a controller as well which is good and it doesn't wobble too much you can obviously adjust the position to make it as solid as you like and the good thing as well now I've always been a fan of the Z position where you kind of flip it the other way around so I'll just get it set up like that now you can see it's pretty easy to move around and so on but with this one now, the Z position, rather than being sort of restricted to this kind of angle, you can actually go really, really low with it, almost down to the floor. I'll just show you like that. Lock it into place. And that means you can get your laptop literally like an inch and a half off the surface, which in some situations you want to do. If you're in a the kind of crazy kind of club environment where the whole deck stand ends up covered in beer and vodka by the end of the night, then it's good to just get your laptop off that surface a little bit, um, just give you a little bit of height adjustment. Same thing again for a controller, you want to get just a couple of inches height adjustment to raise it up to a more usable level, this will do the job for you. And in, in this kind of flattened position, it's really, really rock solid. Um, you've got nice touches like these custom made silicon rings on the top and the bottom to keep it from sliding around and to keep your equipment from sliding around um, the negatives now yeah because this thing isn't perfect right I will say that definitely it's not perfect the negatives are firstly you have to be kind of careful about how you actually do the adjustment on it really you need to be quite disciplined about doing the top or the bottom and then the other one if you do both at once like I'll show you now so I'll just do Right, if I just loosen up both at the same time, what you end up with is a very wobbly stand, or wonky, and you've then got to try and line it up and make sure it goes so it's symmetrical again on both sides and it's not leaning off to one side and so on. So, you know, it's weird to think you have to kind of put a bit of work into a laptop stand, but in this case you kind of do. Um, so this is one of, that's one of the ways this thing really isn't for everybody. If you're not, you know, sort of really fussy about how you set your things up and if you're just kind of really casual and cavalier about how you just throw things around, then this might not be the stand for you. You know, it's, it's not foolproof um, from that regard. The other thing as well, these knobs have got a bit of knurling kind of around the edges, but at the same time on the height adjustment ones, it's kind of not enough for me. Um, the first gig I used it at was in a real sort of sweat box of a club and I got to the end of the night and I couldn't undo the height adjustment knob, just couldn't do it. 
Um, so don't, you mustn't over tighten them obviously because it does lock down very, very well without over tightening, but you know what it's like. Um, you're putting your $2,000 laptop onto a stand. You want it to be solid and rock solid. So you are generally, a lot of people will be inclined to kind of over tighten things and you could get to the end of the night and find, yeah, I can't undo that because it's, it's all sweaty in here and so on. So if you do, I mean, they, you know, cranes say that you can actually just pull it out. Um, and it does work like that is feasible to do that but at the same time yeah i would prefer a kind of more just a kind of different surface on these knobs to get it a little bit tighter um on, and then be able to undo it a little bit more foolproofly sort of in the venue but yeah it's not a killer um the actual top plate and the foot can be taken out they've got allen um allen bolts in there they're actually bolted in so in theory they could replace these with different kinds of uh, platforms or a different kind of foot you could have a clamp thing on there um, we'll see if they do come out with any accessories to actually go with those but it does mean as well that if you were to mangle this in a car wreck or something you could quite possibly just replace that part I mean that's the thing this is all pretty much modular um, this thing it's it's all just different parts kind of put together and engineered to fit together so if one bit does break um, you know and cranes warranty is great as I say that's how I got my contact with them in the first place uh, but if something does break then you are going to get it you know get just get the spare part and get it fixed very very easily so that's good from that point of view this is the stand that i want to use i still love my pro but you know this is the one i want to use is it the stand for everybody no it's not um it's 150 bucks for a start and i think something like the crane stand plus at 80 dollars is perfectly good for most people it's a bit heavier it's a steel construction um, rather than the aluminium on the pro it's still got all that full flexibility and range of movement and so on not quite as much as the elite but enough uh, for most uses and yeah it's 80 dollars so yeah you know from that point of view i don't think everyone should rush out and buy an elite if you are the kind of person that wants the best and the most adjustable and you know the lightest i mean it's under three pounds this thing it weighs virtually nothing um, it's very very compact as well when you actually lower the legs right down flip it all around like so and you can then lock it into place and it fits into this kind of faux leather bag with cleverly the little handle sticking out the top as well so you zip up the bottom and then you've got yourself a little stand in a in a bag which is really really cool and it is yeah it does go a, lot, a fair bit smaller than the old uh pro and plus as well from that point of view so it's very very compact very very lightweight it is the business it definitely is the business and i do think if you're the kind of person who's really rough on your equipment and doesn't want to sort of tweak things around then yeah it's not for you if you don't want to spend 150 bucks on a laptop stand that's completely reasonable that's up to you don't you know go for something a bit cheaper like the crane stand plus but if you want the rolls royce if you want that cachet of saying yeah i've got the 150 dollar crane elite i am elite then you know absolutely this is a good choice for sure check out the written review over at djtechtools.com for a bit more info and i'll see you soon thanks for watching